morning. Um, just got a customer's 915 gearbox apart. Thought it might be just worth showing you exactly what we're doing. So, customer's complaint, two complaints actually. Um, uncertainty when he wanted to select gears and the stiffness for, through the gears. And also, first gear synchro worn badly. So every time to select first gear, um, it was boking or grating. So the first fault on the actual selector, where the gear rod goes through into the selector, what we found that it had broken the bolts off the bottom of the plate. It was allowing the bracket to move independently of its base plate. So always giving the customer uncertainty of which gear he was going to select. So first fix, nice to have found it, unusual one, but done and dusted. The second fault was the gear synchro mesh. So this is the gear shaft, first and second gears run on here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the actual synchro ring lives here on the back of the gear and we can push the gear off it, replace that synchro ring independently so that when it meshes with the collar, they mesh together without grating. Whilst we're this far stripped, we will do second gear because there is signs of the synchro on that one wearing, although he wasn't actually experiencing a grating yet, but just makes good sense to do it. Only other thing that's a little unusual is this factory has got a upgrade oil cooler from the factory. It runs a little oil pump that runs off the back of the diff. It's not a limited slip diff, um, but it does run a little oil pump that sends the gear oil out through a little external uh, oil cooler, keeping everything working properly. So uh, bits will be in today. We'll build it and get this back on the road for the weekend. Thanks for watching.